It's time for Pro Wrestling by the Book! Ahoy hoy there folks, and welcome to Pro Wrestling by the Book! Well today we are taking a look at Extreme Warfare Deluxe Edition. So yeah, this is uh, the, well, the pinnacle of the DOS Extreme Warfare series, which is currently at Total Extreme Warfare, uh, Total Extreme Wrestling 2022, 2020, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Haku has retired and has been replaced by someone. Uh, this is because in this game we're, we're severely limited to just 50, um, not 50, I think it's 500 active wrestlers across the board. So yeah, it's it's kind of a, it's, it's an interesting game because it is, it's, there are like five or six editions of Extreme Warfare before this and all of them were good, but this was one was scrapped and rebuilt from the ground up and it was... I don't know, there's something, there's a little bit of charm about Extreme Warfare. Um, so, yeah, we're taking a quick look, we're taking a bash, we're doing WCW in April of 2001. Um, our roster currently, at the minute, was, uh, it's, it, we, uh, yeah. So, our boss is Shane McMahon, and our roster is basically the people that were primed and prepped to jump with the uh, with the company, and we've got no staff members. So basically, right at this point, we're having a quick look and comparing the the announcers we might require. So because ECW is defunct, but has been revived somehow with no money, I don't know. Uh, there's quite a lot of ECW wrestlers in the time, so I'm hiring Joey Styles as my main announcer because hell yes, it's Joey freaking Styles. And of course, uh, yeah, I can't do that without having Cyrus the Virus alongside him. So yeah, Don Callis, that's my commentary team, my go-to. Uh, Joe is only good, but Cyrus is superb. You can kind of tell where um, the programmer kind of put his uh, preferences in some of these guys. Um, trying to pick out interviewer, which I'll do for just like little backstage shenanigans and things that will pop up during the um, the booking part of this, but. Um, yeah, no, there's, there's not too many options, so it's, it's a shame that, you know, the staffing situation is so limited and most of them are fictional. Well, I say most of them, some of them are fictional. So I'm just hiring, you know, Jack Gossard. Uh, this could be a real person. I couldn't find them. Uh, I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. Uh, what are we doing here? We are looking at uh, the... Road agents, the people that help put together the shows. So they sit down with the uh, wrestlers before the matches and they go plan everything out. And they try and organise things so that you're not clashing with other performances and other wrestlers. So I've just skipped past Stan Eisen, but I think I go back there because he's one of the few ones that are superb that are not under contract to WWF at this point. Um... I think only staff can be hired by the big three. That's WWF, uh, sorry, WWE, WCW, and ECW. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Whereas the wrestlers, as you might see in a bit, will actually be signed up to independent promotions uh, like ROH, etc., etc. But they're not named; they're just independent promotions. Or they might be in um, in Japan as well. That you know, you can kind of presume. Oh well, you know, they're signed up to New Japan, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, so for my production guy, the man in charge of all the production, I go with Adam Jennings, which is uh, a, a notable figure in the uh, pro wrestling sim booker world, rather than an actual, you know, production guy. So we're taking a look at sponsorship deals here, so we can sort of pick of any of those that are interested to give us a certain amount of money per month for a certain contract. And yeah, that's just a nice bumping thing, as you can see. We can only get... Uh, a certain amount of um, sponsorship, so we go with Extreme Warfare Productions. None of these are legitimate, uh, they're all fairly interesting, as you can probably tell by the names of them. There's a few choice, uh, <laughs> a few choice sponsorship deals, uh, <clears throat> and yeah, it's, it's 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 a neat little thing, and it's, it's you can see the nice little jabs, a little humour introduced into this one. 
as this is not a full-on serious sim at this point so I'm just checking through advertising and merchandising how much I'm going to spend, how much I'm likely to make profit off that. I have a quick look at Dirty Tricks, so I won't be doing any of these, but you can talk about TV and run them down, go to the press and run down the competition, you know, things that, you know, or hacking, okay, WCW never hated hacking as far as I'm aware, um, but there were some interesting choice words and decisions made. XPW did the crowd thing. Uh, I remember one time they all turned up in an ECW pay-per-view and it was like, yeah, no, they, there was a, there was a bit of a scuffle in the car park afterwards. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're playing this clean. We're playing this clean. Uh, market research. Let's have a quick look. Company league table. So, yep, WWF, WCW and ECW. Yep, makes sense. Our company. Yep. So, quick breakdown of where we stand, how much money we have, etc, etc. Uh, WWF report. Just explains to you what is happening with WWF. Their top five wrestlers: Kurt, Triple H, Jericho, Rock, and Regal. ECW, who currently have nobody signed to them. So yeah, they've got an uphill battle, but then that's kind of to be expected. Uh, you can go in and edit this uh, and completely make your own thing. Our top five wrestlers currently signed: Lance Storm, Elite Skipper, Hugh Morris, Jason Jett, and Mike Awesome. So, there's something to think about. Right, what do I get up to now? Because I've done the staff. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, sorry, I need to have a talk with the staff and make sure I'm happy with what's going on. So, I have a chat to the medic. No one's injured. Brilliant. The road agent. We need to hire more people, obviously. Uh, oh, yeah, we need to assign some staff members in. Oh, right, no, yeah, because I hadn't assigned a road agent yet to talk to the road agent, so that would help. So you can see this is more in-depth than um, the old uh, WWE Smackdown GM mode. It's already, you know, even before I've got to the wrestlers, there's a lot, a lot to work through and work out. Um, the commissioner section, uh, I don't quite understand why everyone in the entire freaking world is available to hire for that but I've, I've just left it blank because you can it's not a, an essential thing so here we go talk to the road agent we need more wrestlers yes because we have to have a certain amount of wrestlers we can only have 50 active wrestlers but apparently we need some inactive ones as well otherwise our roster looks small uh, i don't know whatever right so uh we've uh, talked to the pa Set a company style. So this is how our promotion is viewed. So we've got a mixture of things. Crash TV, the old WWF style, hardcore, ECW, XPW, pure wrestling. We are a rage old school, taking it back to the 80s. So we stick with the mixture because I like that sort of, yeah, uh, the Mick Foley terminology of it's a circus. Um, if you don't like the clowns, you might like the trapeze artists, etc, etc. So, talking there, we've got the five free agents we might possibly get, which is a good list of people to hire. And at the minute, we've got no TV shows. We're still waiting for uh, something to be snapped up. And we've got no championships uh, at the minute, because it all reset. Uh, we've got the World Heavyweight being introduced there, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. So, obviously, it's not a lightweight title. And, yeah, there's a limited number of women wrestlers in this pack because it is limited to 500 total so is the WCW United States title again it's going to be male only because the few females that are available in this game it's it kind of it's counterproductive to achieving a good score so yes we've now got a lightweight cruiserweight title involved and we'll introduce the world tag team championships as well because I like me some tag team championship wrestling you know even though certain other people don't and are not interested, you know? So, I think, yeah, as you can see, no TV shows, but we need to add some pay-per-views. So, here's me trying to remember and try and run down all of the WCW pay-per-views that I can remember off the top of my head, and I struggle. I think I have to Google a few at the end. Um, so, yeah, Spring Stampede will be this year, uh, this year, this month, because we are starting in April, so... We are definitely going to be having a bit of a spring stampede. Full Brawl was one of them I don't think I remember too well. I knew Slam Bree. And Super Brawl. Um, what we got there? Yeah, Uncensored, yeah, okay. 
I think, yeah, that is me deciding, mm, what do I add to this last one? There's nothing really sort of similar, so I'll just go with Sin because it's just a simple one. So there we go, there's our current week, week, month, in fact, and we've got no TV shows and just a pay-per-view. Fair enough, that's where we stand. So, here we go, I think this is time for me to do the sign-ups for the wrestlers, so... Yep, here we go. So here's me just blitzing through, running through, currently signing up, as many people as I think I need. Um, it takes a while, for some reason there's a bit of a lag when you are done with a wrestler. It's sort of, it's saving content and sort of, even though I've made not many changes. So I have a few contracts left, right and centre. We'll go over the entire roster once I've signed everybody up. But as you can see, there's a, there's a substantial list of wrestlers here. Because it not only covers the WWF, the WCW and ECW at 2001, it's also got a huge swath of independent wrestlers. There's no guarantee that these wrestlers are going to improve or become worse like they do in real life. But they have got uh, stats that are... Uh, um, I want to say to the standard they were in 2001 even though that's a bit squiff because like I said the guy that programmed this kind of and built this this database has got a few favorites you'll notice ECW guys tend to have high rankings in a lot of things um so yeah we just deal with what we're what we're given you know it's the hand we're dealt and that's where we go from uh, and yeah so um, I'm signing up a lot of my favorites as well not just guys that I know are going to be good it's a lot of favorites in this and can you blame me this is half the fun of being you know a, a, a promoter is you get to sign up all your favorites and have all your all the ones you wanted to see pushed and promoted and made world champion you, you kind of go through and you have your fun that way um, obviously you're still restricted to the uh, skills and the talents they're given but you know it's it's still it's, it's still some leeway in which to push everybody and make your ideal situation. Right, so we are needing to fill the active roster, so I'm going to go whack it up to the maximum, even though I think I'm a few wrestlers short. So rather than going through individually and go and make active, make active, make active, I'm going to get my PA, make everyone active, and yeah, missing a couple. So we need to go back and pick up a few few more um signings yeah we go yeah so yeah it's, it's a case of we filled the we need to fill up 50 active spots and then we need to have a few inactive staff staff wrestlers um if i'd been smart i would have gone back and offered a few developmental contracts because i don't think they are considered active and it would have helped me build up future stars but since this is my first time playing EWD in a long time, I just went and purchased more wrestlers that it's like, eh, hey, you're pretty good, you're pretty good. I'd rather have them than them go somewhere else like ECW or WWF, you know. So that's what I'm, you know, just that's what I'm doing. Running around, seeing what I can find. Picking up a few of the people. And, and, and there's a few names that I don't pick up. I mean, I didn't pick up the cat there, but it's like, mm, do I get Ernest Miller? I mean, his stats are quite low, and it's like, mm, yeah, no, nah, I'll be all right. And again, you know, Ernest is pretty good, but it's it's a case of, you know, what uh, Mr. Ryland decided to assign them at the time. I think it's Ryland's um, stats. I think he produced this all, but then I don't know. Um, right, so the active roster is full, so I've hit my 50 limit, and I've still got inactive roster members of staff that I want to put on the active roster now that I've got them. So I'm going to have to go back, go through my active roster, pick out some ones that I'm not too fussed about losing, so I can put the ones I want in. So, let's go into the active roster, and who can I take out? Let's see, let's start with Sergeant A. Wall, aka Malice, who was quite a nice, you know, quite a decent big guy in his time, but ultimately... Stats wise, he's just not there at the minute for this. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Skipping through. Uh, Evan Courageous, former three count and cruiserweight champion. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was never a huge fan of Evan, so yeah, I wasn't going to use him at all anyway. He was literally going to be a job guy if I kept him, so eh, stick him on the inactive thing. Hugh Morris, built a march, absolute ping ass. Um, he can go do one. That's why I'm not having him in there, no matter how good he is. 
according to the stats. Uh, yeah, he's a dick, and I don't want him in the uh, company. Uh, Johnny the Bull Stamboli, uh, decent enough talent, but ultimately, yeah, stats are not worth him staying on board. Um, so yeah, that's why I bumped him into inactive. Who else have we got that we're going to bump off? Um, above average Mike Sanders came in as part of the mouthpiece for the Natural Born Thrillers and ultimately did bugger all and yeah, no, above average is a great nickname and I loved it but the actual guy Mike was just uh, yeah, below average I think is more <laughs> an appropriate term right, so let's quickly bump up the rest of the guys that I want and hopefully we'll now go through and do a quick roster rundown just to make sure everything is where it's meant to be so we have the phenomenal AJ Styles back in his Air Paris days. Air Paris? No, it was, um, I can't remember what the tag team was called. Air Styles? Air Ray, there you go. Yeah, he teamed up with uh, Air Paris, but uh, I didn't bother getting Paris. I like Styles. You know, this is just before he broke out and became the phenomenal one. Ah, uh, next we got Bam Bamma. We like the Bam Bamma. Absolute legend who never got his fair share for Shake, I think. Uh, we put him in the Triple Threats, who you'll see the other members of later, because that is... It's, it's purely an iconic stable, it really is. Ah, Billy Kidman. We like Bills. Yeah, part of the Filthy Animals staple of the WCW Cruiserweight division. Gotta have him. Gotta have him. Uh, ah, we signed up Booker T. Yeah, so, you know, Booker was the biggest draw of WCW at some point, so it, it would be, you know, massively detrimental not to have him on board. We have the British Bulldog, who was here before, you know, he passed um, too soon, so that's a lovely, lovely addition to my roster. We do like the Bulldog. Uh, we changed his push. One of the few stats you can actually change, so how likely they are to win based on your preferences. Next we have C.W. Anderson, stalwart of ECW. Never a big name, but one hell of a hand in ring. Uh, Chavo Guerrero Jr., who's, you know, he's, he's good. He's good. He's, he's, he's a good, solid worker and well worth keeping on board, even if he never really, you know, got to the fame that his uncle did. Next is Chili Willy, who was, you know, ECW guy and didn't do much after they folded. Yeah, he's kind of cool, kind of interesting, got a lot of charisma. Well worth having on board. Chris Candido, oh, the man who never, ever, ever, ever got a fucking break. So, yeah, uh, teammate of Bam Bam Bigelow and a triple threat. Uh, well, you know, I, I love Candido. Gotta have him on board. Ah, who better than Canyon? Gotta have Chris Canyon. Another one who was completely, you know, left that in the lurch, you know. Far better than what, you know, anyone gave him credit for. Uh, Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels, using a photo that's a bit too modern, because I think he had hair in 2001, but uh, it's alright. It'll do. It's, uh, trying to find a clear one of him with hair is long, is hard, man, hard. Ah, Chuck Palumbo. Not a huge Palumbo fan, but he did alright in a tag team with uh, Sean Stasiak, so to bolster the tag team division, eh, we'll throw Palumbo, we'll keep him in there and keep him with um, Stasiak. It don't hurt. It don't hurt. Right, who's next? Who's next? No, we're done, Chuck. Oh, I forgot to change him heel. Yeah, because Chuck Palumbo is a face. Yeah, no, nah, it don't work. The, d the dude is a narcissist through and through. Ah, Damon Dallas Page. Oh, yeah. We like DDP. Gotta, gotta have the Damon Cutter in this. He is, he is a legend in WCW. Doug the Anarchist Williams. And oh, you can hear me talk about this a lot, but I know a massively underrated superstar. The best Britain has offered in decades. And never, ever, ever made the breaks at a big time. But yeah, no. Doug the Anarchist, he's my man. Ah, uh, Dustin. So he was on a break from WWF uh, not being gold dust. So, yeah, you know, we'll snap him up as Dustin. Sure, why not? Good hand. As you've seen in AEW, Primetime Elix Skipper. Yeah, it was part of Team Canada and then went on to team with Kid Romeo, but meh. Just, just make him a face, just make him singles wrestler. He's prime time, baby! Absolute legend. Ah, little Guido Marataro of the FBI. Yeah, Nunzio, one hell of a worker. Absolute. Yeah, how can I not have Nunzio, you know? Jamie Noble, this is before he got the um the trailer park gimmick. This was when he was just pure, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna make you tap the fuck out, basically. Uh Jason Jett, 
formerly known as Easy Money. Uh, you ever really got any sort of wearing the ECW and you floundered in the big two, just really got nowhere, so eh, decent enough. Jeff Jarrett was my second liner. Um, basically, I bought him on board because he's a good hand. I'm not going to push him like he, he is in WCW or TNA, so you know, yeah, it's not bad. Ah, the Phoenix, Jody Flash. Oh, yes. He was like the biggest name at one point, along with Johnny Storm, of two guys that never got hired, despite how fucking jaw dropping they were. Johnny Swinger. Yeah, of uh, ECW TNA Impact fame. Um, best friends, I think, with Irish Pat Kenny, aka Simon Diamond. Um, he's he's decent enough, and I've brought him in, team in with Simon Diamond, Diamond Enterprises. Again, a halfway decent tag team, nothing to complain about. It's good fodder. Ah, no, just Joe. I know Joe mostly from the British independent scene, where he is Joe Legend. And, yeah, he's a good, solid heel, so, uh, just on personal preference, I'm having Joe in, and he's, yeah, being a good, solid heel, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, next is Kaz Hayashi, uh, who was in the Young Dragons at the time. Uh, again, a, a fantastic cruiserweight, nothing, I don't know, he did quite well in the multi-man matches, so, you know, I say there's nothing special about him, but there was. Uh, Kid Romeo uh, didn't last too long. Had a bit of a thing in the independence, but uh, he's alright. We'll keep him around, see how it goes. Gotta have K Dog. Gotta have Conan. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, he hangs out with some questionable people, but uh, yeah, no. Uh, Stalwart the Filthy Animals, which I put a the in front of instead of going with the bog standard filthy animals that they're normally listed, so go back and change that later. Kwee Wee, Alan Funk, uh, who passed very young, didn't get a chance to do much. Um, he was okay. He wasn't amazing, but he was okay. A La Parca, the chairman of WCW. Yes. Um, if there's an empty roster slot, sure, why not? The dude in the skull mask and the... <laughs> ah, here's our VIP, the ace in the hole, the legend, Lance freaking Storm. Uh, I, I don't know how WF botched this guy. He was... He, he, he could print money, this guy. Really was that fucking good, and yeah. He is my guy here in this. Ah, Lash LaRue! Uh, didn't, uh, was floating around WCW, didn't really do much else. Um, it was nothing, but it was decent enough in ring. Ah, here we go, Jindrak! Another of the uh, Natural Born Thrillers. So, yeah, I like him teaming with Sean O'Hare. Uh, it just, you know, Natural Born Thrillers doesn't fit, so I make them the Natural Thrillers. And yeah, no, it, 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 Jindrak didn't really go far. I mean, he made, he launched uh, Lucha Libre USA, which was quite interesting. But otherwise, eh, he was pretty much mid-card nothing. Uh, Mike Awesome, who we absolutely love. Awesome bombing all the way through. Um, so yeah, part of Team Canada, got to have him. Nova, the, uh, the soon-to-be Simon Diamond. Simon Diamond? No, Simon Dean. You know, the fitness guru in WWF. Uh, Nova was always the better incarnation. Mikey Whipwreck. ECW standout with his red hair from his Tajiri team when he's with the Sinister Minister. Oh, that was awesome days. Okay, right. Renaming the Pitbulls because, uh, yeah, no. Pitbull 1 and Pitbull 2, that just confuses the fuck out of me. So, yeah, we're going to have ourselves Gary Wolf and his tag team part bar, Pitbull number 2, Anthony Durant. Durante, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but... Yeah, no, they were, they were a pretty good tag team back in the day. Uh, ECW standouts, fairly decent, fairly decent. Nothing wrong with them, that's for sure. So, definitely worth having them on board. Uh, you know, bolster the tag team division. Won't hurt at all. Right, uh, who's next? Uh, ah, yes. Lucha Libre legend, stalwart of uh, WCW Cruiserweight division, Psychosis. Yes, we got to have the masked man. And, uh, oh yes, his uh, foil, Rey Mysterio Jr., spelt with an I, that annoys me, it's with a Y, uh, <laughs> as part of the Filthy Animals, along with K-Dog and Billy Kidman. Uh, yeah, no, Mysterio is is probably the single greatest legend of Lucha Libre to ever live, and so I, I, I'd be mad not to have him on board. Of course, this was back in WCW when he had the mask removed, courtesy of Kevin Nash, and yeah, that was a bit of a dick move. Ah, Sean O'Hare, right. Uh, so, yeah. Plonk it in with Mark Gingerack because, you know, 
that was that was where they were at their best. I liked Sean in his later days as the uh, the devil's advocate, but uh, I still still liked him as a tag team. Ah, controversial one, Shane Douglas. Uh, I I like Shane. Massive attitude problem, but he's the leader of the triple threat, and those three together are all just you know they're incredible together. Love it, love it, love it. Sugar Shane Helms after he dropped the three count gimmick and started going off on his own. Before he got the Gregory Helms thing, before he got the Hurricane, we like Shane. Ah, his buddy Shannon Moore, we like Shannon too. Long before his Prince of Punk gimmick, back when he was just the dweeb Shannon Moore from Free Count. You know, whatever. He's a good hand. I, I like Shannon. He's pretty cool. Ah, there we go. Sean Stasiak. Yep. Um, not a great wrestler. Meets Stasiak, the planet, Stasiak, yeah, whatever. He works well with Chuck Palumbo. Whatever, they're a tag team. It fills up my roster. Here we go. Swingers buddy, Simon Diamonds. Yeah, Diamond Enterprises. Good hand, worth having as a tag team. Doesn't hurt. Not going to do anything special. But, you know, I, I like having him on board. Right, who is next on our thing? Oh, no, just making sure I've spelt Diamond Enterprises right on Johnny Swinger. Because I don't know why you need to have the team listed. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Steve Carino. Oh, this guy. This guy. He should have been a world champion elsewhere apart from ECW. Ah, Stinger. Yes, okay. Of course, we're running WCW. We've got to have the Icon Sting. Got to have the Icon Sting. Uh, super crazy. Legend of ECW days, massive wars with Yoshihiro Tajiri and um, the old Guido Maritano. Ah, speaking of Guido, his tag team buddy Tony Mamaluka didn't do too much uh, beyond the FBI, to be perfectly honest. But still, fantastic hand. Vampiro, who I had to have on board. Do you really have much of a plan for? So he's kind of, mm, I'm going to say he's a bit wasted in my game at the minute. But Anyway, and lastly, we have Jimmy Yang. Uh, when he was still part of the Young Dragons, before he became a cowboy and got his wang out. Don't, don't question it if you don't know. <laughs> so that is the complete roster that we have hired um, I'm just going back making sure that everyone's set to tag teams I think I mess up and have Yang as a heel and Kaz as a face uh, whatever I have to go back and check that but that's the hindsight we get when post recording and I'm going through and making sure everyone is pushed uh, at least at the top end to a level that I like you know make sure the main, main event is uh, pushed to nine, so DDP, Storm, Booker T, and um, Sting. Did I say Sting? I think Sting's already there. Let's call it quits there for the setup, and uh, yeah, I shall see you next time when we get into booking our first month of professional wrestling shows as WCW April 2001 in Extreme Warfare, July.